This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan of the neonatal brain. Equipment required includes the following. An ultrasound machine. A selection of transducers appropriate for a neonatal brain ultrasound examination. An examination table. Positioning aids, such as wedge sponges or pillows. A chair. Acoustic gel and gel warmers antibacterial wipes or solution, examination gloves, bed linen and towels, and a sonographer's worksheet. Introduce yourself to the patient or guardian and briefly explain the procedure. Have the patient lie supine on the examination table. If necessary, wrap the patient in a sheet or blanket to help prevent movement. Tilt the face slightly away or in a lateral oblique position. Expose the patient's head and apply warm gel to the anterior fontanelle. Select the appropriate high-frequency tightly curved transducer. Confirm the correct transducer and preset on the ultrasound machine. Perform a survey scan in both the coronal and sagittal planes using the anterior fontanelle as an acoustic window. Make the necessary adjustments to the machine parameters to maximize image quality. Be careful not to apply direct pressure on the anterior fontanelle as this may cause a decrease in the patient's heart rate or bradycardia. Begin the scan of the neonatal head by placing the transducer in the coronal section over the anterior fontanelle. Angle the transducer towards the anterior cranial fossa to obtain the first anterior coronal view. Manipulate the transducer to obtain a symmetrical image and identify the frontal gyri and sulci with the hyperechoic periventricular white matter. Freeze the image. Annotate the structures, scan plane, and patient position. Save or print the image and unfreeze the image to proceed. Obtain a second anterior coronal view by angling the transducer slightly posteriorly. Manipulate the transducer to obtain a bilateral symmetrical image of the frontal horns and the cavum septum pellucidum in the midline. The inferior border should show the five-star configuration formed by the circle of Willis. Freeze the image. Annotate the image appropriately. Save or print the image and unfreeze to proceed.